Well, the sun is out today. What a beautiful morning. So um, today I think I'm going away to cycle to St. Cyrus. Put my bike on the train to Montrose and then have a wee leisurely cycle from there. So I'll just check the uh, the tide times there for St. Cyrus because sometimes it can be um, low tide. But I think the high tide's up until about half past four today. So I um, should get a nice walk along the beach. I'll, say I'll cycle to from Montrose all the way to St. Cyrus. It's, well, it's about five miles, six miles, something like that. And then walk along the beach and see if the uh, the water falls there today. And then I'll literally cycle back. That's the plan, so we'll see what happens. Right, well, one roll was actually enough for me. I'll keep that one for... No, actually, no, I'll probably get binned. But anyway. Where's my train? It's late as per usual. Here comes my train. said that the uh, steeple in Montrose is the tallest in Scotland, however, it's one of the tallest in Scotland. Oh, Anna. A strange thing up there. Hmm. Right, well the cycle path goes through the old uh, Montrose airport and it looks like they're digging up the old uh, the old runway. It's been here since the 1920s, I think. So I don't know what they're doing. They're kind of demolishing it now, unfortunately. And it's the, uh, the bit of the runway that's still intact at the moment. To say, it's quite an, uh, an old military airport. This was used through the First and Second World War. A lot of stories. Let's see, our grandfather uh, flew from here as well. And his uh, uniform etc is in the old Montrose Heritage Museum which I think you've seen on maybe one of Jag's old videos. So anyway it's a lovely day today, a bit cloudy but very warm, about 20 degrees today which is unusual for this time of year in Scotland. Just imagine all the old Spitfires and all the old aircraft used to kind of land here. So you've got a total change of scene now, now in the woods. This is a fairly new cycle path this, it's only been open a couple of years, but uh, you've got like old airfields, woods, viaducts, and then it ends up on the, the beach. So it's quite a nice little uh, cycle path. It's about six miles up to St. Cyrus and six miles back, so it's just quite a, an easy wee cycle. There's the uh, old viaduct, which we're just away to cycle over. And there we are, on the viaduct. There you go. Here's the beach at St. Cyrus. It's actually quite empty today, apart from one screaming log brat. So I'm off again. It's quite windy, so we might get a lot of wind in this video, but uh, there you go. It's a beautiful beach, this.
There's many a uh, Jurassic this bit. A lot of rocks and cave and stuff like that. Looks like the dinosaur from that cave. Well, it actually looks like it's too much water in the cave. Well, it's a bit wet to get into the cave. Uh, the surface is a bit damp, so I couldn't really um, couldn't really get in. But uh, never mind. Needed a torch and some wellies, I think, to get in. But I've been there before, so it's all right. It doesn't actually go back that far. Always nice to see. So very quiet up this bit. Nobody here again. Yeah, I'm gonna sit here and just chill for a bit and watch the sea. a giant uh, dinosaur foot. That's the uh, toes along there. And that's the base of its leg. So maybe there is evidence from the Jurassic period here after all. It's the old uh, graveyard over there. Not going to go there today because we've been there a few times as well. Feeding the horses some uh, some grass. There you go, pal. Is that good? All right. So which way now? Well, cycle back to Arbroath? Nah. Just like to one choice. That'll do. Get the train home. <laughs> 